Yo, welcome back. You're f following the BD show. We are coming to you this Saturday evening from Bamenda, and we're happy to know you're doing well. Thank you for the sacrifices you've made for the last minute already to be with us. That's a huge sacrifice. Watching us online is no joke. We want to appeal again that you subscribe. Remember to subscribe our channel. Uh, we're nursing the channel together, and when you subscribe, you are supporting us from a distance. Also, share and comment on our videos uh, if you feel. If you love the content, if you love particularly our counselor who has been helping us out, please do share, subscribe. Let many people, of course, get to learn from this. We are talking at the eve of back to school. And I know children, uh, which is in at least more than 70% of our families have children. So yeah. uh, they, are begin they are the center of the conversation now, how they go back to school. But before this reflection, we're also worried about the aspect of child upbringing. I'm sure you must have handled this question in one of your sessions, either on radio or TV. Mm -hmm. But who takes the responsibility for uh, a poorly brought up child? Father or mother? <laughs> That's a difficult one there because, um, like they always say, a, a good child is daddy's, daddy's child mm -hmm. and then a bad child is mommy's child. Mm -hmm. But that, that is not true, even though mother spends more time with the children. But talking about, like, if you have to discipline a child, it's something that the mother and the father should work hand in glove on when it comes to discipline. Because sometimes you see, like you talk about children being one of the problems in marriage. They, maybe the, the, the father beats the child for doing something that is wrong. And then the mother calls the child and pampers the child. Mm. Instead of telling the child, daddy is beating you because what you did was wrong. You know, you say call and then you're making, you're bringing hatred in that child. You're growing hatred towards the dad. Mm -hmm. Thinking that maybe that that doesn't like me, that's why he beats me. But if, in 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 a case like that, you, you you should call the child and tell the child what you did wasn't right. That's why daddy is beating you. Yeah. Yes. So we should look at discipline like it's it's something that we should work hand in glove on. Sometimes there are things that if um, the children are too familiar with the mom, and the mom is trying to discipline them and it's not going, the father needs to step in. Yeah. Yes. So it's 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 a two way thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's time for back to school. I'm sure many men are now sweating. Yes. And the wives are waiting. Well, um, for those who are sweating and those who are not planning. Okay. Back to school is something that you start planning even from the day that the last school term ended. Okay. Yes. Wise parents will start preparing their children even before this period. If you want to talk to some few parents that are wise, they'll tell you they've already bought school bags, they've already bought um, um, food packs. Yeah, yeah. Everything, water bottles, everything is already in place. They're just waiting for the child to go to school. Mm. But then for those who are, who are not yet prepared for maybe reasons, um, maybe relating to this crisis, I, I, I don't know what I can say, but <laughs> I'll just tell them to do what they can do. Yeah. Um, maybe the child goes to school and then as time is going on, they can, you know, be getting the, the rest of the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the conversation. We'll be ending here now. Well, let's end with some preferables for Madame. Your favorite food? Aero and white gary. Aero and white gary. <laughs> That's not from being carried. Oh, yes. Fufu and katsi katsi. No, don't change it. <laughs> Why? I, I just reminded you that. that <laughs> so no. That means okay. you fall in love with Aero. No, I fell I in love with Aero because I don't cook fufu on daily basis. <laughs> but the truth is, oh, don't, don't they eat fufu. <laughs> Vegetable and kati kati. Okay. Good to go. You drink something? Yeah. I go with just non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your favorite uh, music? I like worship, gospel, anything Christian. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your take on your kind of medication? When you're sick, do you try alternative medicine or you take uh, no, modern I'm medicine? I am open to, uh, to any. Okay. Yeah, the, the truth is that sometimes, um, okay, for, for example, we had, my son had moms mm -hmm. of recent, and the truth is, the hospital doesn't take, take, you know, have any medication for moms. Okay. So in that case, you must be open to either home remedies mm -hmm. or, or natural remedies, yeah. So I'm, I'm open to any. To any. Mm -hmm. There's no problem, uh, are related to your Christian values? No. As long as it is not, you know, we, we are using herbs. Mm -hmm. Natural leaves, mm. it's, it's, it, it's okay with me. Ah. What's your take about the marriage that, is not, that doesn't produce the fruit of the womb that has no child? Well, in that case, um, I want Can to... Can you stay in such a marriage? Yes. Okay. There's no fruit of the womb. Yes. One thing I would like you to understand is um, the first purpose for, for marriage, when God was creating marriage, wasn't for, 
for childbearing. Okay. It was for companionship. So if you get married and children are not coming, enjoy the, enjoy the first, reason, first reason for marriage, which is companionship. Because when God said Adam, it's not good that Adam should be alone, he didn't say it's not good that Adam should not have children. Mm -hmm. But he said it's not good that Adam should be alone. He needed a, a, a companion. That's why you see some, sometimes people are in their 50s, they're getting married, and you're asking, mm -hmm. why are they getting married? They want to you know, age together. Yeah. They want companionship. So if you, have, if you get married and you're having, having issues with children, please don't drive your wife away. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't, don't make it a problem. In fact, enjoy your marriage with the companionship, which is the first reason why praying and hoping God, you know, for, for children to come in. I see. What about people who decide not to marry? You find a problem with that? No, I, 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 I don't think I, I should have a problem with that because even in the Bible it's written. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people will not want to get married. Paul himself in the Bible was, wasn't married. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's okay. Some people might choose not to, be mar not, not to get married. Mm -hmm. But if you have to keep concubines here and there at the end of the day i still believe that you are still married somehow mm -hmm. so better just get married so what if somebody brings such a problem to you like i'm not married but all my concubines are a problem to me <laughs> um in that case i think he knows his problem and he knows the answer to his problem okay he should he should uh, he should get a wife you know steady get a wife settle down with that wife you know because Women, so, so, so men will tell you that women are first of all a problem. Then having two, three, four is having four, four, four problems. Yeah. So if you don't have those problems, why, why, why go and look for them? Okay. Get a wife, sit, settle down, make a family. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I think we've come to the end of the road for today. We're going to give Madame now an opportunity to look at that camera and tell somebody something. She said so many things on social media already. I don't know whether there's any other thing you tell people when they come to your clinic. <laughs> but uh, when I follow your social media platform, you say too many things already. It looks like you give all your information out there. Yeah, that I is... I can say. But just look at that camera and talk to some people today yeah. for being on the BD show. Uh, in fact, why you think they need marriage counseling? Okay. Please, what you see on social media is general advice. And sometimes it might not work for you because they, they, they are not two of the same couples. Every couple is unique. So what works for you, we need, we need to sit down, assess you as a person, assess your marriage as a unique marriage, and know what is working for you. What you see on social media is just general tips, and it's just tips of an iceberg. When you come in for counseling, you have more. And that which is, is personally related to you, not, you know, not, not the kind of general things we, we put on social media. And my WhatsApp, please, I gave, I, I think I got it wrong the last time. Okay. <laughs> I didn't notice myself. <laughs> my WhatsApp is 654 558 You can contact me on WhatsApp and I will get to you. I'll book an appointment with you and you can get to me. I'm at Commercial Avenue, opposite NFC Bank. And that's how we end today's edition of the BD Show. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'm sure we've contributed to helping you know where you can find a solution to your family. Uh, the show was not intended to be the solution itself. <laughs> the show was intended to help you know the problems that you can be going through and know where you can find a solution. So I'm particularly grateful to all my team. My technicians have done a wonderful job. The challenges have been enormous for today's edition of our program. But luckily, we are here finally. And we hope to be here same time next week. Please continue to like our pages, subscribe on social media, on our YouTube channel, and continue to share the word. For those of you who want to place, do some placements on our show, we are available. And uh, well, as you can see for yourself, the viewing is growing by the day. And I'm sure we'll not be making a mistake partnering with us in any form. Thank you very much for watching. And for me and the entire BD team, have a splendid weekend. Goodbye. <laughs>
after many years with me. After many years. 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 Enjoy yourself, so. enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, so. enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, so. enjoy yourself, so. enjoy yourself, so. enjoy yourself so.